2014 season underway. It's a long, long drag into the first left-hander. But it's Faza who are comfortably out in front. They finished the 2013 season winning here in Dubai and taking the championship. And they've started this season in a very similar manner. And there's Skydive Dubai then in that third place spot. You can see Skydive Dubai behind cutting through the spray to try and find some clean water. Look at that. That's what happens when a boat's in front of you and it's the Nicolini boat. And they seem to spin out. On board with Moad, Omar Daniel and Gary Bala, plenty of powerboat world championships and national championships between them. The first round of the UIM Skydive Dubai XCAT World Series will be won by Faza. Arif al Zafin and Nadir bin Hendi take the checkered flag, waved by Sid Ben Sala. Second place for Skydive Dubai, and after starting in second, it's third place at the line. Salim Ali El Adidi and Talib Al Syed in victory team. who come out on top once again just like in Dubai it's a clean sweep victory in the speed cat run and victory in the Grand Prix Matteo Nicolini and Tommaso Paolo take second place for the sixth boat and skydive Dubai complete the podium Faso will head to Europe as the championship leaders Away we go then, on board with Faza, and they've got a good getaway. Dubai seem to be dropping back a little bit. On board we go with them. And look at T-Bone Station, the number 10 boat, Luca Fendi and Giovanni Carpatella. They are pulling well clear as they come down to the first right-hander. On board with T-Bone Station, and here you can see them moving up into second place then, past the 22 boat. Alfredo Amato and Marco Panessi taking pole position at their home race. And Diego Maradona watches on. It looks like he's having fun. Oh, and they've spun out. Nicolini have spun out on the inside. Whether that was in avoiding action because they thought they were going to miss the boy. The pole position boat looks to be in trouble. And that is race over for them. So that means Marine Investimenti Sud are in second place. T-Bone Station are up into third place. Diego Maradona's waiting for them. Who's going to get there first? Look at how close Investimenti Sud are. Faza desperately trying to get it through the final corner. I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to win. But Faza take victory by only one and a half seconds at the end of the race. What happened to them on the final laps? The boat's heading out onto the course here at Streza, ready for round four of the X-Cat World Series. Yellow flag is ready then as soon as it drops and goes green. The race will get underway and Faza make a decent start by the looks of things, but not as good as T-Bone State, look who are way out front there from fourth position. On board with Faza as they now move clear of the console brokers boat, which qualified second. So it's a reasonable start from the three-time winners this year. Nadir Bin Hendi and Arif al Zafin, the championship leaders. But there is the number 10 boat of T-Bone State, Luca Fendi and Giovanna Capitella, the former XCAT champion, off like an absolute rocket here. Boat almost tipping over there. That two and a half litre engine, the casing has taken a big hit. Control, had a problem. The long lap now being taken by the former race leaders and yachts are going to move into the lead of the race. Are Faza going to come out in front of T-Bone Station? T-Bone Station about to rejoin the course having taken their longer lap and it looks like Faza have done it. So they've banged in their fastest lap of the race so far and it has worked. It's gained them about five or six seconds overall. It's got them from being a couple of seconds down to being about three to four seconds ahead, I would say. It's one more corner to go. And it's win number four for Arif al Zafin and Nadir Bin Hendi. They win here in Strazer. They were behind for a long time to this team. In the end, T-Bone Station, though, have to settle for second place. And Yachts get their first podium. They come home in third place.
We're away for the final race of the 2014 UIM Skydive Dubai XCAT World Series. Number three, Fazza, that lead in the early stages of this race with Videx number 22 there in second position and Moad have come through into third place. Videx are not giving up. They're riding on the coattails of Fazza and Fazza having to work overtime here to hang on to the lead of the race. The boat that qualified on pole position though now under pressure from Dubai who are coming along on the left-hand side and it does look as though the number seven boat of Dubai are through and ahead of Videx. Number seven, Dubai, have gone through and have taken the lead of this Grand Prix from Fazza. So Fazza down into second place. Jay Price and Salim Aladidi are doing the long lap, so that is going to mean that they're going to drop further away from Fazza. For the champions of 2012, the champions of 2013, and the champions of 2014, they're about to claim yet another victory as they head through the final bend and start to make their way up towards the chequered flag, which is being ready. It looks as though it's another win for Fazza here in Dubai. Five out of five in the 2014 XCAT World Series.